Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So if you guys watched my previous video on the Mono Righteous Fire video, you'll know that I'm kind of stopping from it for now. It's a cool archetype, it's kind of fun, but ultimately, I really love Life RF rather than Low Life Righteous Fire. I played a lot of Low Life Righteous Fire in my day, and I don't know, there's just something about Life Righteous Fire's progression that just really makes me want to play it. Something with like not having to do big transitions, but anyway, nonetheless, let's talk more about this character. So yesterday I decided I wanted to restart in SSF. Um, so I still have the characters in Trade League and I'll probably go back to them. We have the 98 RF Inquisitor and the 98 Mono Righteous Fire Hierophant. Um, I said that reverse, but yeah, you're good. So over here we have an RF Chieftain. And before I get started on talking about Chieftain, I want to explain why on the Chieftain. So previously in the past, I wouldn't really recommend Chieftain. It's definitely a good map blaster, primarily because of this node right over here, which is the uh, Hinakora's Death Fury. It makes it so that when you are mapping, even though it's a 5% chance, you know, there's a couple hundred mobs in every map, it's very easy to trigger this consistently. This will carry your character's clear speed. Well, in the past, I felt that you could scale RF to get reasonable clear speed without too much of a big deal. Uh, with them nerfing Righteous Fire, you need to put more investment in to get the same result. Chieftain kind of didn't change. Chieftain just needs to kill a couple of mobs, trigger Hinakora's Death Fury, that does all of the clearing. When you combo Hinakora's Death Fury with Ramako's Sunlight, uh, Ramako's Sunlight is very good for RF builds in early progression because of math mods. You don't have to worry about Monster Ellie Res, you don't have to worry about that pesky Fire and Ignite mod that you see all the time. You don't have to worry about rares with elemental resistance auras, monsters having endurance charges, Really, the only thing that is a you know penalty for you is like Enfeeble and Monster Life. So, assuming you can actually tank the target. So, Ramakos is very good for progression, and then typically way later it falls off, but that's not really important when you could technically respec your character, right? It's just a good a good node. Salos Cleansing Water is a um, node that allows you to basically stack Fire Res, and as you stack Fire Res, it will splash resistance to your other ones. This works very well in conjunction with the Fire Mastery for Life Regen. The biggest problem with this though is Chieftain doesn't have any life regen multipliers. So let's say for example, Juggernaut has a Tiring, which is 40% increased life regeneration rate. And Inquisitor has permanent consecrated ground with Pious Path. So those are two very big multipliers that Chieftain does not get. So recovery will be a bit of a struggle. On the flip side, they're you know the easiest ascendancy to hit 90 max all res. So if I slapped on a Rise of the Phoenix right now, we would be like 88 max res. Um, and then if I got a few more levels on my Purity of Fire, then uh, we would actually, so if I had a 23 Purity of Fire, then we would already be 90 max res with the Rise of the Phoenix. And then when I ascend here on Volaco Storm Embrace, that would be 90 all. But 90 all max res without extra defensive layers is not enough. But anyway, let's not talk about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and jump into map so you guys can see what it's like. My skill tree is primarily very similar to a Juggernaut. Um, the main difference between it <clears throat> is that I also am pathing... I haven't dropped the arsonist section yet. Truly, I'm not really sure why. I think it would just be better to get spiritual aid. I kind of just forgot. Okay, uh, this boss is gonna delete us. It's uh, the boss is possessed. We have less armor and it has extra lightning, so we're not gonna empower it. Remember, this character is level 80 with like kind of like trash can gear. I got pretty lucky and found a five link early on, and we're just running the life tap burn damage with affliction righteous fire Ellie focus. Uh, one of the nice things I will say is it feels like it's easier to get AoE now because when you run your Labyrinth, you can just put quality into your Righteous Fire, so that is pretty nice. Um, this map has reduced AoE, so my AoE is going to look quite a bit small. Uh, one of the big things I still need to do on the character is I need to set up... Um, uh, what is it called? I do not have uh, Malevolence yet. Malevolence is kind of a big damage multiplier, so we're going to have to work on getting Malevolence set up. I plan on farming uh, Barracks Respite on this character. What Barracks Respite is going to provide is the ability for the Ignite that comes off of the explosion to kind of chain. So rather than going Elemental Proliferation, I'd rather sacrifice a ring and go Barracks Respite because for me, the clear is going to feel much, much, much better. Um, that comes out of like a toll plateau and I don't know exactly where else. Um, this character also does not have Shock Immunity at the moment, so uh, things are going to be a little sketchy when I roll the maps with added lightning. But so far, everything is good. I think we've only had one death, which was in um, Act 2. I don't really want to talk about it. I tried to run RF without the Fire Mastery, and spoilers don't do that. Although, this map could absolutely kill me here. Oh, 
Ultimately, I'm thinking the best way to make a Chieftain tanky, and I don't actually know this right, this is more of like a trial and error phase, is um, there was a setup a couple, was it two leagues ago, three leagues ago, I kind of ignored because I thought it was going to get patched, but it didn't. It was the Blood Notch Immutable Force setup, where basically you cause every hit to stun you, and I think you just like recoup all of the damage taken, so unless you effectively get one shot, you don't really die. Um, that's kind of like a potentially good setup right now with... Um, with warlock i, I want to say you know scaling higher life scaling higher life just makes it easier to set that up and there is definitely some potential for hp stack on chieftain uh, i just have to see compared to like the oh actually let's not empower him right now i have to see compared to the charms because uh charms are kind of busted but i won't have any charms early game okay this guy is actually cracked right now sir can you chill i don't have a guard skill yet bud you want to chill out all right cool Yeah, so right now, I just have Warden of, or was it Oath of the Maj? Let's see, where's this stuff at? Yeah, so I've got Oath of Maj, and I have nothing in my boots right now. I'm wearing Wanderlust because I do not have freeze immunity. Once I get my first Divine Vessel, uh, and I get high enough in the map tier, which I don't think it's too high map tier, uh, I'll be able to immediately get freeze immune, and then I can drop these shitty Wanderlust and use something else. I could alternatively roll a flask with... Um, like remove uh, freeze, but I'm kind of lazy. So when I get good boots, then maybe I'll consider it. But yeah, I mean, overall, that's pretty much the character. Um, I'm enjoying it. Just we're pretty much on the goal to getting tanky. Um, getting tanky is always a priority, uh, at least for me, when I like to build my thick mappers. And then we need to take a look and see if it's worth going like blood magic, warlock, petrified blood. Um, something I'm definitely interested in. So we will definitely have to take a look at it. But anyway... That's pretty much about it. I'm going to go ahead and hover over my gear really fast while I say goodbye to everyone. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow, and uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the league. These gloves are actually sick, by the way. I'm probably using them to, like, level 95.